Bonnie Julia, Bonnie Honey, Honey Honey, Honey Honey, Honey Honey. What's the next? Let ya, let ya, honey, let ya, let ya, let ya. You're a dick. Josh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for Patreon, follow us to the account, subscribe to the link button. Like the button. Like it now. Do it. Today. Thank you. We got another Watch Mojo video. They're just pumping out the Indian content oh, lately. I love that word. Pump. Uh, <laughs> this is top 10 Bollywood movies that were remade from Hollywood movies. What do you oh. think is on here? Oh, uh, the first I, thing that would come uh, Well, out. how recent is this? Uh, yeah, four days ago. Lal Singh Chada. Yeah, probably. That's got to be on there. But it's top. So this is like, they think the best. The best of the best. It is recent, so maybe. I'm trying to think of... Uh... Well, I know what will be number one. What? The Harry Potter film. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> without question. That's number one. Uh, yeah. You want to bet that's not even in the top ten? You want to bet? <laughs> no. I'll no. bet you a penny. I mean, if, if I get to bet that it's not on the list... Yeah, no, that's where I'm that going bet. with that one. What do you think is on this list as well as, uh, obviously, Lao Singh Chada? Top 10 based on what? Their personal opinion, or are they going to measure this by box office? I have no idea. Here we go. Oh, probably that one. Like Stars on Oh, Earth. yeah, that was good. In fact, that's better. I like this version better than, than the Hollywood version. I didn't see the Hollywood version. Yeah. That was fine. This was very good. There it is. Bug! We're looking at the most oh, Memento. Oh, Memento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't seen it yet. No, nope. we need to. From Hollywood ones. Which of these movies do you think does justice to its source material? Is Let that what I think it is? I don't know. Number 10, Conte. Conte. One of the best action thrillers produced by Bollywood, Conte features a stellar ensemble cast that included Amitabh Bachchan, Sanjay Dutt, Sunil Shetty, Lucky Ali, and many others. Is that Akshay back there? The heist drama is set in Los oh, Angeles. Oh, really? Similarities to filmmaker Quentin Tarantino's very own Reservoir Dogs. All right, Ramblers, let's get rambling. Is it any good? <laughs> Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink. Why not? You don't tip. You don't tip. What do you mean you don't tip? Conte's director Sanjay Gupta chose to call it his homage to Tarantino, as opposed to a traditional remake. Uh, Nonetheless, the man behind Reservoir Dogs was a fan of the Hindi version. He shared how he was amazed that Conte dove deeper into the backstories of the main characters, something that didn't make the final cut in the original Hollywood film. If any of these are worth watching, let us know, yeah. obviously. I did not know there was a Hindi remake of Reservoir Dogs. Bazigar. Bazigar marked a turning point in actor Shah Rukh Khan's career, making him an instant sensation. Am I forgetting what's a remake of? Playing the anti-hero. Sometimes I have said, sometimes for winning, there is no need to lose. And for winning, there is no need to lose. Ah, Kajol. Bazigar says. The movie's gripping script, suspense, and performances turned it into a cult classic. However, its makers may have to thank the writers of 1991's A Kiss Before Dying for the plot. Never saw that. Never saw it either. Murders and investigations that'll have you on the edge of your seat. We should get back. We've got plenty of time. <laughs> Careful. What's wrong? Why does that look like it was made in 1960? It does look really old. Yeah. The Hollywood film release was in itself an adaptation of a novel, but it gave it its own twist. The Bollywood version, in turn, followed the movie's influence while adding new elements. Like Shah Rukh Khan. Interestingly, though, Khan's part in Bazigar was reportedly first offered to actor Anil Kapoor. We wonder how that would have turned out. Number eight, 
Jojito Wohi Sikandar. It's Jojito his first Wohi film. Jojito Wohi Sikandar won a Filmfare Award for Best Film. What's it a remake of? another for Best Editing. It's easy to see why, as the coming-of-age drama makes college life of the 90s look so fun. Animal House? <laughs> no. <laughs> the story about a poor boy falling in love with a wealthy girl gets more interesting with what a is that? filthy rich nemesis and a cycle race. While the movie blends romance, is that Jessica Lang over there? Brotherhood, sports drama, and action quite well. The premise has no, a lot not. in common with the 1979 film Breaking Away. Oh, in my heart, very, mom. very big film here in Hollywood history. Never saw it. I never saw it. Just as bicycle racing plays a pivotal role in that movie, the intercollege. They look like they're going really slow. They should go faster. One of the highlights of Jojito Wohisika. This was before <laughs> performance enhancing drugs. Number seven, Surkar. Filmmaker Ram Gopal I think Bhar Solkar is Godfather. Some remarkable gangster dramas. One of them is the political thriller yeah. Surkar, an Indian adaptation of The Godfather. The film is KK and in Big a B. series, similar to the Godfather wow. trilogy. I have a sentimental weakness for my children, and I spoil them as you can see. You ever seen them? <laughs> a few times. Surkar clicks with they the new just, just a few. Set against the cultural and political scheme of Mumbai city. Amitabh I love that movie. Plays the role of Supash Nagre, aka Sarkar. There's the no way Big B could even try to do that way. voice, though. No, not with his don't voice. Don't even, don't even try. That's not, no. You come, you come to me in the Actors such as Abhishek Bachchan, KK Menon, Kota Srivanasarao, and Anupam Kher also lend their talents to the project. Oh. And the result is brilliant. Abhishek Bachchan's take on the character of Michael Corleone is actually I'd love to see this. I actually hear it's really good. Yeah, I'd love to see this. It's one of the big B ones I've wanted to get to. Sir, you also know what happens in the jail. What happens in the jail? I want to get to the forum. Number six, Hey Baby. A family flick with three men and a little baby is three men and a baby. Hey, baby made audiences with laugh Akshay? a lot upon release. Hey, hey, you got my favorite biscuits. Yeah, boy, watching match you. That was a big hit. Three men and a baby. Starring Akshay Kumar, Farvin Khan, and Ritesh Deshmukh, it takes some cues from the hit Hollywood film Three Men and a Baby. <laughs> the message about a package he said would be delivered today he said to put it aside, not to worry about it. He said that about a baby? I'd say he takes his procreation business a little lightly. The latter project was remade from a 1985 French comedy, yeah, Three Men and a Cradle. That's true. The Bollywood version I never saw that. delivers, with star Shah hey! Khan even making a special appearance. And, and then there's oh! the song featuring numerous actresses, which is executed flawlessly. Although Hey Baby is is a Bowman Arani, you didn't say his name. Emotional scenes. Who me? Oh yeah, she right didn't. <laughs> Number five, La Singh Chadda, the official. Yeah, but how much did it make at the box Oscar office? Film Forrest Gump. Glad it's there. <laughs> With a wonderful adaptation, such a lovely movie. It's such a lovely movie. The Hollywood film walks through America's political challenges through an apolitical protagonist. But the Hindi version mostly passes commentary on the pivotal events of Indian history. Yet the heartwarming romantic comedy stays faithful to its roots, telling the extraordinary journey of an ordinary man. Even the iconic Life is Like a Box of Chocolates line gets a nod, becoming Life was Like a Golgappa. My mom said that the life is like a Golgappa. The mind is like a Golgappa. The mind is like a Love Singh Chadda grossed more than such any a great other job. film of 2022 internationally. Is it any wonder why? Number four, internationally? Chachi Char Sobis. Indian cinema's legendary actor filmmaker Kamal Hassan created a winner with Chachi Charsobis. Oh, my is this my cousin Vinny? <laughs> Taboo. Kamal Hassan. The project bears many Oh, wow, well, yeah. No, we knew that. We did because we've seen him do a Hassan song. He became one of the first actors to play a character that dresses in the opposite sex's clothing we've in seen a that one. film. You're right. I remember the number. You're absolutely right. transformation and performance in the movie are so convincing that sometimes you forget you're watching the same person portraying both Jay Prakash and Lakshmi. 
माथे पर माथे पर भवे बिंदी या बिंदी ओप्स Yeah. The comedy drama earned him many fans in the Hindi audience, <coughs> mostly known him as a Tamil actor. Though it was released decades ago, Tamil. <laughs> We never called it Tamil. <laughs> no. Dil Bachcha <laughs> <laughs> raised a oh, lot of excitement among um, fans. Yeah, that's Sushant. That's, that's, that's the Sushant, Sushant one that the you mentioned a moment ago. Yeah. Much loved novel and Hollywood film. Which is a which never, is a good movie. I never saw Why the uh, original. Like it's that. a good movie. It's well done. I enjoyed it. I like Shashant's ones better. Hitting all the necessary emotional points. Although a Hindi film, the Tamil expression seri was the movie's equivalent of the iconic okay in the original work, with the choice being woven into the plot in an affecting way. Seri. Seri. Tamil. Yeah. Seri ka matlab okay. I like seri. Seri. The movie's message of positivity, hope, and love, coupled with the performances of the lead actors, was well received. Mm -hmm. Author John Green, who wrote the novel, also complimented Dil Bachata. Yeah. <laughs> the story was made all the more emotional by the fact that actor Sushant Singh Rajput passed prior to its release. Number two, Hum Tum. Actor Saif Ali Khan and Rani Mukherjee charmed the audience. When Harry oh, met Sally. is that what that is? On When Harry Met Sally. Why are you so upset? This is not about you. Yes, it is. You are a human affront to all women, and I am a woman. <laughs> hey, I don't feel great about this, but I don't hear anyone complaining. What a classic. Of course not. You're at the door too fast. While Boy Meets Girl is one of the most common Bollywood tropes, Pum Tum was a That's a hard one to live up to, man. Portrayed relationships. I haven't seen the film, like but... the original movie, the remake reiterated that friendship is the bedrock Do we get to see Ronnie have an orgasm in a restaurant? Oh, I hope so. Uh, me too. Sorry, uh, Karan Kapoor. You can call me Karu. <laughs> It's probably gonna be a little different. Who directed that? Karan Johar. Is Hum Tum had big shoes to fill, but it did a great job. The proof is in the fact that Khan received the Best Actor Award at India's National Film Awards, while Mukherjee earned the Best Actress Award at the Filmfare Awards. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe. To that's our friends. That's not Indian. The bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option. Hey, to for occasional Mama Roo. Or all of them. <clears throat> on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Gajani. Yeah. Gajani. Memento. Memento. The Which, which I, I'm not even seen the original. I just Indian realized I have to put that on my list of films to watch this year. Indian box office. <laughs> This is high on the list of our next Amir Khan's, probably. Yes, the it story is. story follows a protagonist with short-term memory loss avenging the death of his lover. As far as plots go, that's a pretty exciting one. Even for those who had seen Christopher Nolan's Memento, the indirect inspiration for Gajni, mm. there was plenty to enjoy and love about the Bollywood film. Isn't that one of the marks of a successful remake? During one of his trips to India, Nolan reportedly said that he was, quote, honored that his work served as inspiration for the film. That's pretty high praise. Do you agree with our picks? No! I do. I also think it's great, and I wish, I think all industries can do it. Lal Singh Chad is a really great example. Any story that has universal truth in it, has universal appeal, ought to be translated into a format that is accessible and readily available to all cultures. Yeah. And if you can, in a creative and original way, take it and say something new or different with it that'll reach a, a completely different audience, but with the same truths in it, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, I think that one was just came out at the wrong time i think it, if it, if that film came out before the pandemic it probably would have been a hit what lol yeah yeah i i think remakes were just but did it do ott universally and inter, you know internationally did it recoup and do well so that amir got his money back no idea i hope so couldn't tell you hope so um but yeah there's a couple uh, if there's stuff in there that we should i know that sarkar is one that i've had my eye on for a while for big b because a lot of people just like that's not it, old enough to be a classic though is it no 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 yeah 
Um, but he, uh, a lot of people say it's actually a really good film. Well, and Abishek, because we've been a big fan Abishek, of him for and a while. KK Menon, and yeah, KK Menon, and we love. Um, and then, per- I absolutely would not. If someone said to me today they're doing a remake of The Godfather, and they told me those three men were were part of the cast, I would immediately be. It'd excited. be really interesting to see Abishek's version of Michael. Exactly. Because that character obviously is probably the pivotal. Big- biggest character probably it's, it's in, the, in the whole in the whole it, series. yeah the whole the whole godfather story most people assume at first that it's Vito. it's not it's michael yeah is the heart of that story um so it'd be really interesting and did they make the others or was that just a slight adaption on the godfather and they just stuck with sarkar yeah because obviously i don't know godfather has multiple parts you could also you could make one film about parts one and two if you do some major edits and do a timeline but i think it's just just godfather which I don't like anything beyond two. I don't consider any of the other Godfathers to be part of the lore. I don't care for them. Yeah. Same way I don't think even Stallone says Rocky V should have never been made. <laughs> That's not part of the Rocky lore. <laughs> Anyways, let us know if any of these are, are films that we should watch. What is your favorite remake uh, from Hollywood? Uh, and they should also do, because I know there has been some, the reverse. They should do films in Hollywood Yeah. that were made from uh, Indian yeah, films. Yeah, inspired there, from an Indian film. There have been uh, a lot. Broadway since, shows have been inspired by Indian films. Since Watch Mojo is now on a uh, India... Uh, Trend? Video yeah. kick. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what other videos we can react to down below. Josh!